Hey guys, it's Kylie and today I'm here with a video showing you how to put cork in your pin board books so that they're easier. I'll just show you what it's going to look like at the end. This is my mini pin book and with the cork in it, it's just easy. You can, here, you can just take out your pins, put them back in. It's really easy to rearrange your pin books so you don't have to keep like sticking your hand in and pulling out the back. So just, I'll show you how to do that. So first what you're going to need is these cork tiles. Um, they're, these ones are 12 by 12. You got them at um, Walmart. And I grabbed three packs of them because mine has five sheets and each one has, these has four and you're going to need two for each sheet. So you'll have a couple, a few extra sheets when you're done, but that's okay. So first you open this up. Here, let me point you down a little bit more. You can see what I'm doing, what work I'm doing. Okay, straighten you out a little bit. Perfect. So, open it up, and so you have each sheet. So you're gonna take a piece of cork and line it up on the sheet, and you're gonna like measure it. So you're gonna need one for the side and one for the side for each one. So once you get one measured out, you'll just copy that for all the other ones. So. I'm going to need to take off a little bit on the side here. Let's move it up a little bit. But I'm just going to mark it with a pencil. It'll probably take off probably like this much. That's about how much I'm going to take off from that side. And then from the top, remember there is Velcro. These don't have to Velcro because they're pretty secure in there, but it's better if they're Velcro. So I'm going to take off to about there. So with that, I'm just going to draw straight across. Sorry about that, I had to go run and do something. Um, so I grabbed this straight, like I just had to run and grab this. So I grabbed a straight edge. This is another end of a cut up cork board. But if it focuses, I'm just going to use this and draw straight along my line all the way up the cork. Just so you can see, because you're going to have to cut across it. And then straight across on this. You're probably going to have extra cork at the top. Though That's like good space to probably make some some of the ones if you have a small pin book too you want to use. Because it's slightly too small to use on a different page. But So now I'm going to cut this out. You need some pretty heavy duty scissors because it's kind of thick to cut through. This allows you to get like multiple pin backs and they won't run into each other if you on multiple different pages like on both sides of the page it's a, it takes a little force to cut through you need some like these are pretty heavy duty scissors I tried to do it with like just like little school scissors and it did not work you also end up with little cork shavings everywhere but you can brush those out And once you, when we finish cutting it, we're going to test it, and if it's the right size, we'll cut another, we'll cut, what's that, five sheets or nine more after this, so you have a total of ten to make sure they all fit in. Okay, one last snip. And we're all set. So here's our cork piece. I'll shake out the book from cork before I do anything with it. But here's our cork piece. That's what it's going to go into. It's going into that pocket, but that's what it's going to look like on the inside. So all you do is pop open the Velcro and shove it in. You want it to be a snug fit because that means I might need to shave it off a little on the sides though because this is a little bit too snug. But a snug fit allows you to really fit pins all the way from one side to another. Let's see. Oop, you're falling, about to fall off the edge. Ooh, I just ripped that cork. Anybody just see that? That was a fail. 
Okay. Well, that's great. This one's a little snug, so on the next one, I'll probably trim it down a little bit more. But that's what it's gonna look like once it's in. I'll also flip that corner down here because the roundness of it will be fine down there. So, and it allows you to take these pins and just line them up so you can easily rearrange them too. You can also fit more things like that because you can put them so close to each other around the board, your pages. So I'm just going to cut up the other um, nine of them and then I'll show you what the book looks like finally when I start to put pins in it. Okay, so I'm back. So I made a bunch of these. I um, put them all in. I'm just putting in the last one here. Um, which way do I want to do this? I want that one. So I'll just shove them in the last one. So the Velcros don't buckle, but once you put a pin in, they'll stay. So the great thing about this is if you wanted to, you could even cut out a piece of cardboard to go in here. And like if at a pin show, you can keep complete sets in here so that like people can't keep touching them. So this is great for like pin shows or if you're pin trading at the tables and like Epcot or something. Um, cause people can easily pick out your pins, look at the backs of them. This cork's a little long. Um, it keeps the pages, like the pages are sturdy. Pins still fall out. Pins fall out with the backs on too. Keeps your pages sturdy. So I'm going to show you me putting in them. It does make the pin book really thick already, but it should be all set once you start putting pins in it. And this pocket also can be used for pin backs if you don't use it for pins, but... So I'm just going to start pulling pins off. I got a bunch of country sets. It's also great if you, for the pin shows, if you like, oh, complete a Hitty Mickey set that are like before it and you want to be able to rearrange it that you've already like booked. So all I'm going to do is just line them up and start placing them in. And I'm like, if I was like, oh wait, I wanted Morocco to go in between them, all I have to do is pick it up, place in Morocco, that, put in Mexico. And yeah, so continue that on. You can make hidden Mickey pages, booster set pages. It's plenty of, it's tons of pins. So the little pin books, I was able to get eight of these, these, I'll show you the eight. I was able to get these eight pins that I'm about to put in here on one page. So, and it only has three double-sided pages, so I would say six pages if you totaled it. And I was able to fit these eight pins on one page, and all it covers in this big cream book is one row. So that means I'm going to be able to fit everything I have in the whole pin book in probably one and a half pages at most. So that's what it looks like in it. They just have... There's some cork, a little bit cork sticking out on this one, but that's what my pin book's looking like. I'm getting it ready for trading. I put all, I'm putting all my traders in it. I might go trade with some people at the tables at Epcot, so that's really what I'm organizing it for. But I like having the pin book, the big Disney pin books, because those are much bigger than some of the other ones you can find. You can find other ones, and I have other ones, but they're much bigger. I'm just trying to get this out. It's stuck into the Velcro. So, I'm just moving that over. See, it's easy to rearrange. I want it to go right there. It's kind of hard to get the ones through the Velcro. That's where I'm having the hard time, it seems. Oh, actually, I'm going on the seam. That would be why. Because it's sewed right there. There you go. That's better. I was going right on the seam of the Velcro, so it was sewed in. But if you want to make them look all nice and together, it's nice and easy to do that. So, thank you for watching. I'm going to go get some more pins into my pin book. Um, check out some of my other pin videos that are up. Um, have been up recently or will be up in the next few days. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. This is part of my vlogmas, so, um, probably every day at 2 is I, what I've been doing. Every day at 2, I'll have my video up and the notifications will tell you when it goes up. Thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy pin trading and getting your books ready for pin events and different, or just keeping them for your collection. Uh, thank you.